Do you want to open a new world for yourself? Do you really want to tap into your champion self in every area of your life? The self that is really powerful and can do whatever it takes to win a championship, to win the hardest competitions you could ever win, then this method is going to be for you today. And before I do the method, I'm gonna explain to you what does it mean and how I used it in my life. So it's called hypnosis. It's basically reprogramming your mind, your subconscious mind or the underneath mind that controls every part of your body, your heartbeat, your breath, everything that you do on autopilot, that's the subconscious mind. And that's infinitely more powerful than the conscious mind. So I'm going to teach you how to tap into your subconscious mind and really use the best brain you ever have. And so let me tell you this story. So I had a marathon. I got ready for it in the gym. I practiced really hard and I gave it my all in the gym. And then immediately when the day came for the marathon, I did the technique that I'm about to show you towards the end in the car or in the house, I'm not sure. But I did the technique, I visualized myself getting first place and winning the race and getting a medal and so I want you to know that there was no placement but what I had visualized and vividly imagined really turned into a reality which I got a medal and before I even finished the race there were a bunch of beautiful amazing people cheering for me and saying hey Samir you can do it you're the best man go and they were all screaming and cheering and I wish you were with me because if you were with me you would have experienced the beautiful feeling of cheering me and the people cheering is so beautiful it can't even be described and so I finished the race and I was extremely happy and extremely feeling fulfilled and accomplished and everybody cheered me and said congratulations you've won the race and what I have visualized before going into the race with the technique that I'm about to show you really brought that to life the reality that I wanted and so this is extremely powerful you can use it for sports you can use it for everyday life when you have pain in any area of your life when you have trauma when you really really want to upgrade yourself and perform at the very level best then this technique is for you. I really want you to follow my instructions as if you're looking into your own eyebrow like this. Okay, then you're gonna breathe three times. By the, third, by the third time, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to look down as if you're looking into a flight of stairs. Step 10, step 9, step 8, step 7 and 6 going even deeper, step 5 and 4 going even deeper, step 3 and 2 going even deeper, step 2 and 1 going fully deeply. Now, 
to test out that your suggestions are working, I want you to do one test. Put your hands in your eyelids, see if you have a little bit of a fluttering feeling. If you feel the fluttering feeling, that means anything you suggest will now enter your subconscious mind. So, for the sake of this example, let's say that I'm going to run a marathon, okay? And I really want to program everything that's going to make me relaxed, that's going to really help me perform for that occasion, which is running and really outperforming the other people in running. And so what I would say is I'm the most powerful athletic human being I could possibly be right now. I am always powerful and athletic. I'm always confident and sure that I'm gonna win lots of marathons and I have the champion mentality. I always love to be the champion no matter what the situation is or how hard the situation is. I finish my marathon and I get the medal and I want you to use as much imagery as you can say I see myself in front of the audience running and enjoying the running process while they cheer me with their amazing voices I feel the feeling of what it is I feel the feeling of what it is like to be cheered, to be celebrated, to be really doing my best and really becoming the champion of this event and being amazed of myself and of my abilities. I hear the people and the crowd cheering so loud and so amazingly that I feel the energy to keep going even when it's becoming tough. I taste the taste of success to get the medal and to celebrate with myself and my mom. I smell my beautiful perfume that helped me get inspired for the race. And so, number one, use as much of your senses as possible. Number two, I want you to use words on top of words. So instead of saying, I'm the best athlete, you say, I'm the most incredible best athlete in the entire world. You layer words on top of words to make the image more vivid, more huge, more imaginable, so that you can vividly imagine it. And remember, what is vivid? What is vividly imagined and what is real, the brain can't really tell the difference. So you really need to vividly imagine this, see yourself, feel yourself, give it a taste, give it a smell. How does it look like? How does it feel like that you have already achieved it? What are the positive feelings that are within the achievement that you've achieved? really feel into it and vividly imagine it. And so when you're done, now I want you to, to count again from 10 to 1. But this time you can do it faster. Step 10, step 9, step 8, step 7, step 6, step 5, step 4, step 3, step 2, step 1, and open your eyes. And that's a very simple session. So the beauty about this is that you don't need to follow a specific meditation on the words and stuff. You can create your own words. You can add your flair to it. You can customize it with the words you want, with the powerful images that you visualize. It's really powerful and really amazing and not only sports and high performance but also in healing and many other stuff that you have a problem in or that require healing or performance or 
any kind of hardship that you're facing that you can't really just say oh I'll be all right in the waking state normally and uh, fix it something that really needs deep fixing in your subconscious mind in your deep mind the mind that is that does everything on autopilot the mind that believes everything if you really want to tap into that mind to solve the problem if you have to and you really want to do it this is the this is the technique for that and this is the reason why I told you at the very beginning that really absolutely you can really change your life with one programming one session of programming and really taking your time to program whatever you want in whatever area you want and so let's summarize for, for the important stuff for the concept number one use uh, no number one use vivid imagery to describe the scene to feel the scene to smell what is in the scene and use all your senses number two use words on top of words i'm amazingly the best at marathons that's the two things you really need for this concept to work besides doing the concept itself remember the more you are doing this the more you're programming this powerful mind the inner mind that's inside of you that really makes your life 10 times better or even a hundred times better